I do believe Aura has a very positive influence to the city of Beijing. You landed on the uh, new capital airport T3. Uh, it was uh, Aura has a tremendous contribution to the design of it. We win the uh, competition in November 2003, right? And then uh, the time scale is short uh, because the uh, this airport must be open before the Olympics. Terminal 3 here in Beijing responds to uh, a need for China to build up its uh, airport capacity. I think the in terms of structural challenge uh, for the airport, uh, we can we, there is two uh, area, right? One is the roof because the roof is so big. The other challenge is the building is so long. One terminal, why right, we are talking about um, 950 meter. Right, the, the longest one, and the other dimension is about 750 meters. When you approach from uh, the, the road or from the uh, transportation hub that serves it and connects it to the city, you immediately open into uh, very large open spaces. You get very impressive uh, vistas of the roof disappearing off into the distance and uh, some idea that it's uh, eternal. As a passenger, when I come to the Beijing airport, I think what I'm uh, most impressed is the, uh, the very clear signage and uh, the way that the building directs you with its design to where you want to go. I think that's very important and you're not sort of lost uh, with, uh, within the airport. A very clever aspect of the design is the orientation of the ceiling of this big large space. It always orientates you in the direction of going from land side to air side. And of course, it's a good environment with uh, uh, daylight um, coming into the building make um, you feel a lot more relaxed uh, in the building as you, as you pass, it, pass through the, uh, the terminal. It's a very big challenge, right, uh, in terms of not just technical, but also, you know, how we can deliver the product in court with quality. But now it demonstrated that, you know, uh, although in maybe the first day or two, I think it's impossible, but now it's possible.